tengo el Good Evening. Carlos Cruz. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening. Well, hello guys, my name is Douglas Arevalo. And I'm going to be your teacher today. I can listen to some disturbance. Well, I got uh, Mr. Carlos Cruz. Uh, I got another Carlos. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. What's your full name, Mr. Carlos? I don't. I don't listen very well, teacher. Okay. I will. Uh, I will chat. Uh, I will send. I you have a problem. I got Claudia Elizabeth. Uh, let me see, Claudia Elizabeth. What's your last name, Mister Claudia? Good. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Great, great. Tell me, Claudia, what is your last name? My last name is Sarevalo. Douglas. My name is Douglas Sarevalo. What is your full name, Claudia? Claudia Elizabeth Peña Martel. Claudia Elizabeth Peña, Martel. Okay, perfect, excellent. And let's see. Okay, I got here uh, Carlos Cruz, Morena Aguila, Francisco Díaz Gil, Adonai Portillo, Raquel López. Okay, guys. Well, we got Silvia Robles, excellent. And Kelly Camerales. Excellent, excellent. I would like if everybody can activate your camera. That would be excellent. Well, my name is Douglas Arevalo. I'm going to be your teacher. Uh, you are in the level basic three. All right, and we're going to start.
start a little bit talking about uh, certain things. Let me see. Uh, well, first, remember, my name is Douglas, okay? So whenever you need to tell me something, Douglas, okay? And let me talk a little bit about myself so you can get to know me. And I am 40 years old. I am from San Martin. Uh, I've been teaching with uh, English Corporativo for like three, four years almost. I've been teaching English for 20 years. And I have taught English in different institutions, like uh, I was teaching at University of Pedagogica, I also teach at University of Bosco, I teach also at, uh, I taught also at um, Colegio Garcia Flamenco. So I've been moving around also at Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, and today I am here with you. So let's see, uh, perhaps just to get to know you, Perhaps can you introduce yourself? A short introduction, okay? Mr. Douglas Canton, please, would you mind introducing yourself to me? Eh, buenas noches, teacher. Eh, gusto saludarlo. Okay. Eh, good evening a todos los compañeros. Eh, un gusto saludarles. Okay, excellent. Uh, what is your full name, Mr. Douglas? Uh, Douglas uh, Inocente Cantón. Okay, great. How old are you, Mr.? Excuse me? I am, I am 40, 40 years old. How old are you? Uh, I am uh, 45 years old. Excellent. Thank you very much. Mr. Carlos Cruz. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? My name is... What? Hey, my name is Carlos Cruz. My name is Carlos Cruz. And I have 39 years old. I am? I am 20, uh, 39 years old. Excellent. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Miss Silvia Robles, please introduce yourself. Uh, hello, my name is Silvia Rosana Robles Palacios. Um, I have, I am, I am, uh, um, 55 years old. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's perfect. Don't worry, don't worry. That's excellent. Just great. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Francisco Diaz Hill, please. Mr. Francisco Diaz Hill, can you hear me? Perhaps he's got a problem. Uh, let's see, Roxana Lisset Cornejo, please. Hello, good evening. My name is Roxana Cornejo. I am 33 years old and I live in Huizucar La Libertad and I work in a newspaper. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too. See. Sí. Morena Aguila, please introduce yourself. Good evening, everyone. My name is Morena Guadalupe Aguila. I am 54 years old. I work in business administration. And nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm sorry, Morena. Tell me your full name again, please. Morena Guadalupe Aguila. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see. It's because uh, Insafor asked me for all the names complete here. Morena Guadalupe Aguila. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay, good to see Perfect. you. Perfect. Nice seeing you too. Angelica Morales, please. Hello, good evening, guys. My name is uh, Angelica Morales, Angelica del Rosario Morales Castañeda. 
I live in Santa Ana. I am um, how forty six years old. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Uh, hello, Vicky. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Vicky Martinez Tejada. Okay. Um, I work at Galerias. Yes. And I am 41 years old. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, I got, uh, let's see, Angelica Moreno Guadalupe. Moreno Guadalupe, she already did it. Let's see. And Claudia Elizabeth, please. Hi, my name is Claudia Elizabeth Peña Martel. Oh, yes. I am living in yes, Santa yes. Tecla. I am working in Little Americas. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Janari Cortez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. I am 32 years old. Uh, I live in San Juan Pico La Libertad. I work at Imperseca in Equimiti. Okay, nice to meet you too. Mr. Adonai Portillo, please. Good evening, Douglas. Good evening, everyone. My full name is Nelson Adonai Portillo Escobar, but I prefer Adonai Portillo. Uh, I am 38 years old. I live in Marriott City and I work in the Gisel. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Raquel Lopez, please. Hello, good evening. My name is Nancy Raquel Lopez. I live in Quesal de Peque. I am 35, 35 years old and I work at Digicel. Excellent. Ana Aguirre, please. Good evening. My name is Ana Isabel Aguirre. I live in San Salvador and I am 44 years old. Thank you. Thank you, Ana. Luis de Leon. Hello, good evening. My name is Luis Enrique de Leon Ayala. Uh, I'm 29 years old. I living in San Salvador. Uh, I worked at Grupo Q. Excellent, thank you. Jennifer Soriano. Can you hear me, Jennifer? Well, let's start. Uh, before we continue, let me just tell you a few uh, comments uh, just in Spanish, okay? It's of the few times that I'm going to speak in Spanish to you. Eh, una de las pocas veces que voy a hablar en español con ustedes, solamente para dar unas pequeñas eh, recordatorios. Eh, estamos trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ya saben que cualquier duda con lo que respecta a la plataforma, por favor, usted comunica conmigo y con gusto. Yo tengo acceso a ella, puedo ver los ejercicios y ayudarles en el momento que ustedes quieran. Eh, espero que todos se agreguen al grupo de WhatsApp, en el correo que les enviaron, les aparecía ahí el enlace para agregarse directamente. Igual, en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, si en algún momento no les puedo atender inmediatamente, no dude que en el transcurso del día yo les contesto. Eh, déjenme ver qué más. Eh, por favor, cualquier duda que tengamos, le repito, con plena confianza. Yo estoy acá para ayudarles. La idea es esa, poderles ayudar a que mejoremos. Eh, durante todas las clases, bueno, este día les voy a, van a ver más o menos lo que es mi metódica de trabajo. Ahora bien, eso no está escrito en piedra. Si hay parte de la clase que sentimos que podemos mejorar, Estoy abierto a sugerencias, usted me escribe, si quiere me escribe en grupo, si quiere me escribe en privado, no hay ningún problema. La clase es para ustedes y la idea es ayudarles en la mejor manera para que... So you can learn to speak English. 
para que todos aprendamos a hablar inglés. Esa es la idea, recuérdense. Mi objetivo ante todo es ayudarles a que todo el contenido que vamos viendo en la plataforma lo vamos a ir retroalimentando acá. No vamos a ver la plataforma en mi clase. No vamos a hacer este, no les voy a poner el video de la plataforma, el ejercicio de la plataforma, no. Lo que voy a hacer yo es retroalimentar y explicar en mayor detalle, de una manera diferente, el contenido que está ahí. ¿Ok? Eh, siempre estoy conectado en mis clases cinco minutos antes. Siempre estoy acá. Si alguien quiere conectarse antes, perfecto, podemos conversar. Y siempre, en todas las clases, aparto alrededor de 10, 15 minutos en los cuales nos dedicamos solamente speaking. ¿Ok? I will start asking questions, everybody. Voy a comenzar a hacerles preguntas sobre lo que hemos hablado, sobre lo que vamos a hablar a todos, cada uno de ustedes. Le hago una pregunta luego, primero a Douglas, luego le hago la misma pregunta a Nancy, luego a Jennifer, luego a Luis. La idea es que todos participemos e interactuemos. ¿Ok? I don't know if there's any doubt, si hay alguna duda. If not, we start. Si no, comenzamos. Okay, perfect. And, and that's something. Please, please, the only last detail, el último detalle. Sometimes we as teachers get excited. A veces los profesores no, nos emocionamos cuando vamos explicando. Si algo no queda claro, por favor, con toda confianza, you can tell me. Douglas, please, explain again. Usted me puede pedir nuevamente que explique. No hay ningún problema. Mi trabajo es explicarle las veces que sea necesario para que todos ustedes comprendan de la mejor manera posible, ¿ok? Así que con plena confianza. So, no questions? No questions, teacher. Perfect, excellent. Let's start. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, today we are going to talk about uh, the months of the year. We are going to talk about dates, but we are going to see it a little bit more uh, interesting, interactive, perhaps. Let me share with you a PowerPoint presentation that I created. So we can work with it. Let me see. Okay. Beginner three, class number one, objective. How to say dates. The objective of the class, by the end of this class, you will learn the months and dates. Additionally, you will learn uh, to talk about birthdays. Okay, the months of the year. Listen up, please. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Again, just listen, okay? Nuevamente, solo escuchamos. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now, this time, You in your house. You don't need to open your microphone. Ahora, no necesita abrir su micrófono, activar su micrófono. Ustedes en casa. I will say the month and try to repeat, please. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, now if you come and ask me, when is your birthday? I tell you. My birthday is on December 17th. Okie dokie. Let's see. Remember the months. 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, let's see. Mr. Carlos Cruz, please tell me the month, solo el mes. Okay, the month of your birthday, please. On July. July, perfect. Angelica Morales, what about you? Which month is your birthday on? Hello, Angelica, can you activate your microphone? Oh, perhaps she's having trouble. What about you, Rubidia? Hello? In which month is your birthday on? Your birthday, January, February, March? October. October, perfect, thank you. Mr. Adonai Portillo, please, what about you? Uh, my beer month is November. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, Douglas Canton. Okay, teacher, uh, my birthday uh, is on February. February, excellent. Yes. Okay, now, as you can see, that's just the month. But if you notice, if you come and ask me, si usted viene y me pregunta, when is your birthday? The question that we have, when is your birthday? Cuando es tu cumpleaños? I answer to you, oh, my birthday is on December 17th. First thing, in English, we say first the month, okay? And then we say the, the date, right? Recordemos, en inglés primero decimos el mes, then the date, okay? Now, another difference. In English, if you can listen, I don't say 17. I say 17th. Try to listen. I say December 17th. If you look at my mouth, when I say 17th, my tongue is between my teeth. Mi lengua está entre mis dientes. Y hago el sonido como de una feta. Okay? Why? Por qué? I will explain. I will show to you. Okay, look. We have cardinal numbers and we have ordinal numbers. Okay? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. The ordinal numbers are first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Now, in this, there's mm -hmm. something interesting. Acá hay un detalle interesante, and I will try to explain it. I'm sorry if with this topic, I will use Spanish in order to explain. Me disculpan si voy a usar un poquito de español para explicarles este detallito. Para decir las fechas en inglés, no utilizamos los ordinales, sino los cardinales, ¿ok? We say, we don't say uh, December 17th. No digo diciembre 17. I say December 17th, ¿ok? So when we say the date, we are using that TH at the end. Utilizamos esa TH al final. Got it? Now, when we get up to 20, 
cuando llegamos al 20, we say 20 with the th. Decimos vigésimo. But in English to say vigésimo primero, that's 20 normal, like ordinal, first. 20 second. 20 third. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que la decena se mantiene normal y solo la unidad es la que va cambiando. So, in that case, just when we get to 30th, 40th, 50th, ¿ok? Let me show you again. <clears throat> Look, 24, 24th. Look, 30, 30th. 31, 31st. Any question up to here? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Ok, this is... Perdón, teacher, para, yes, las, tell me, tell me. para las fechas igual a los números se tienen que poner, yo he visto que los ponen con TH al final. Exactly. Siempre If, este, par, para decir que es este, como la, la unidad que cambia. O... Yes, remember, what, it's exactly what I'm saying. Es exactamente lo que les comento. Que para decir las fechas en inglés, cuando lo escribo solamente el número, lo que hago es pongo... El número, si es el 1, first. Ok, give me a second. Just give me a second. Ok, I'm going to do something that I don't usually do. Vamos a hacer algo que normalmente no hago. But we are going to do it here. Okay, guys. Let me see. Can you see? Yes. First. Yes. That ST, where did it come from? Okay, that ST came from first, the last two letters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when it is second, when we have second, what do we do? We get N, D. You see? Yes. Okay. Any questions? No. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry to show it like that, but sometimes I, I think that you need to see it. Yes. Perdón si se los muestro acá con la pizarrita, pero creo que a veces sí necesitamos verlo. It's not just if I say it. Sometimes, for some of us, it's different. I mean, that's, for some of us, you just watch it and that's it. But some of you need to copy down for you to remember. Everybody works a little bit different. Todos trabajamos un poquito diferente. Algunos con solo verlo, otros lo copiamos. That's normal. Okay. Oh, remember, we can, you can check out the video tomorrow. Ustedes pueden revisar los videos el día de mañana si quieren repasar the whole class. It's recorded. Toda la clase queda grabada, ¿ok? Any, any other question? No? Teacher. Yes, tell me, Roxana. Um, yo había visto um, sobre las fechas que cuando se colocan, eh, si se usan los números ordinales en la pronunciación. Lo que usted decía, el, el sonido de TH como, yes. como una Z muy pero que cuando se escribe, eh, se escribe solo el número, no necesita llevar el, el TH o el ST de first. No sé, decían que era una forma incorrecta el escribirlo, más la pronunciación sí tiene que, que, que hacerse como un número ordinal. I will show you exactly what you mean. Just give me a second. If you write the date, like in the first example, yes, you write the th. Si usted lo escribe como en el primer ejemplo, si le pone la th. 
if you write it, the date, just like in the second example, you don't need to. Okay? Si le escribimos, como aparece en el primer ejemplo, usted pone el día Thursday or Tuesday, si pone el día completo, el mes completo, el nombre, la palabra, entonces sí. Okay? Si lo escribe, como en el segundo ejemplo, there's no need. Is that, is that clear now for you? ¿Estamos bien ahora? It's good, it's yes, good. Teacher. Yes, yes. It's good, it's great that you ask that. Es excelente que me preguntan cosas así. It helps everybody. Another question? No? Shall we continue? Continuamos? Perfect. Let's continue. Okay. So as you can see, with the pronunciation, simple, remember. Let's, let's review the pronunciation if you want. If you want again. Uh, let me see. Okay, we got them right here. Listen. First. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. Eleventh. 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 30th, 31st. Okay, now, just to be clear, in this case, in this situation, there's a little detail that the pronunciations can vary. La pronunciación pueden variar en un caso, but, yes? Repeat the pronunciation number eight, uh, eight, 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 nine. Nine or ninth? Ninth. What is, what is uh, ninth? Eight. Ninth. Oh, uh, ninth. Ninth. Noveno. Ah, la confu... Um, okay, thank you. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, listen up. Uh, just to be clear, some people say 20 and some people say 20. Both mm -hmm. are okay. Just to be clear, okay? Because you are beginners, porque estamos en los niveles básicos. Algunas personas dicen 20, and some other people say 20. It mostly depends on where you learn English and with whom. Más que todo depende del lugar donde aprendió el inglés y con quién. So both are correct. You can say 24th, or you can say 24th, and both are okay. Any other question? No? Excellent. Let's continue. Let's see. Now, we are going to get right now to a small exercise. Okay, guys, you have to ask and answer the following questions in the breakout rooms. When is your birthday? When is Easter? When is New Year's Day? When is Christmas? Oh, I'm sorry, here was a mistake. When is your mother's or your father's birthday? Okay, in the last one, when is your mother's or your father's birthday? Now, those questions you have to ask each other, okay? I'm going to separate you in pairs. I'm going to divide you in pairs or perhaps in groups of three because I have, let's see, two, four, five, I got 20 of you right now. No, 16, okay. So what I'm, 
What I want you to do is the following. You are going to ask each other those questions. I will, I will show them again to you. So if you want to write them, because you are going to ask each other. Le voy a poner de nuevo las preguntas si alguien las quiere copiar porque lo voy a dividir en grupos y vamos a practicar preguntar y responder. Cuando estén divididos en grupos, yo me muevo de un grupo al otro por si necesitan ayuda o para escuchar la pronunciación, ¿ok? It's very important that you practice the questions, ¿ok? So I'll show them to you right now again. Remember the pronunciation. When is your birthday? Birthday. In this case, TH pronounced... Yeah, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, what is the meaning of Easter? Oh, Easter. Excellent. Let's see. Holy Week. Uh, lo que nosotros llamamos Semana Santa. Mm. Gracias. That's, you're welcome. That's Easter. Okay. When is Easter? When is New Year's Day? When is Christmas? When is your mother's or your father's birthday? Okay, guys. Time's up. We are going to go. You have one, two, three, four, five questions, okay? To ask each other. But before we go there, antes que nos dividamos, let's make a little trial, okay? Vamos a hacer un pequeño, uh, a little trial, una pequeña prueba. Okay, let's see. Uh, who wants to help me? Mr. Adonai Portillo. Okay, tell me. Uh, tell me, Adonai, uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is November 4. Okay, excellent. Just remember, Adonai, my birthday is on. On, okay. Siempre cuando vamos a decir una fecha le ponemos el on before, okay? My okay, birthday. thank you. Okay, now, Adonai, let's continue, let's continue. Uh, tell me, when is Christmas? Uh, Christmas is on December 25. December 20? 20. 5th. 25th. Okay. Excellent, okay. excellent. And tell me, when is New Year's Day? New Year's Day is on January 3rd. Excellent. So that's what you're going to do among yourself. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer entre nosotros. Okay, you are going to have, let me see, how are we with time? Five minutes? in the breakout room, so you can ask an answer. De esa manera pueden preguntar y responder both situations, okay? Ready? Yes. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Let me see. I'm going to divide you right in this moment. I got 20 participants. Perfect. You are just invited to the breakout rooms. Just tienen invitación para los breakout rooms. Y vamos a responder cuál es nuestra fecha de cumpleaños. Por ejemplo, my birthday on April 9th. My birthday is on, on April, April 9th. Perfect. My birthday is my birthday on. on. My birthday is on. Is, ah, is on. on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. When is your birthday, Vanessa? Uh, my birthday is on December 20, 
Okay. Next question. Where Nobody's here. So let's move. And my birthday. My father's birthday is on October 13th. Okay. Okay, let's do it. It's my turn. Uh, okay. when, is your, when is your birthday? My, be, my birthday is on March 31st. March 31? Yes. Okay, lo voy a anotar, no voy a hacer. <laughs> I will, I will ask. It's in May 10. Okay. Nancy, when is the Father's Day? Father's Day is Your is father's. On... Oh, yeah, yeah, please. Father's Day is on June 16th. 16th. I don't know. Don't 17th. Know. 17th. No. Oh. I don't remember if 16th or 17th. When is Christmas? The Christmas is on 25th, December 25th. December 25th. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. When is your mother day of when is your mother day or father day? And the mother day is on um my my May May um I can You don't remember May uh -huh. Yeah, remember, but I, 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 do, I, I don't know say in English. <laughs> okay, ¿cuál es el día? I don't remember. Tell me the, tell me the number in Spanish. Okay, 10 de mayo. <laughs> May the 10th. 10th. Why? 10th. 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 10th, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm nervous. Ah, don't worry, don't Did be, don't be. Decir como la fecha, vea. Which one? I when is so Easter. Easter. Okay, when is Easter? Uh -huh. the, the, the answer. In this case, you just say the month. Mm -hmm. Because it's a period of days, okay? You just say the month. Aquí solo decimos el mes. Because it's a period. Oh, only, only. It's, it's oh, actually March. between between March or April. Ah, okay. Es que estábamos diciendo on March or April. Yeah, it's okay. Pero siempre le ponemos el on, ¿verdad? Yep. Entonces sería between. You can say between or it's in March or. When is the New Year's Mother, Day? Father Day. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, you? Carlos. You had a question. Perdón, Carlos. Creo que tenía una pregunta. And I left. Y yo me salí. When is New Year's Day? It's on January the first. Just tell me. Uh, teacher. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me. Dígame. Uh, I have a problem. In, I don't know listening very well. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's, perhaps it's my problem. Or... Perhaps it's your connection because I can hear you. Quizás es su conexión porque acá sí le escuchamos. 
Un poquito entrecortado, pero se la escucha. Sorry. We can hear you. Nosotros le escuchamos. Yo siento como una interferencia que de repente escucho bien y de repente no, y por eso a veces me quedo... Sí, puede ser, este, puede ser la señal. En algunas zonas está lloviendo y eso influye. It could be the signal. Puede ser la lluvia. It could be the rain. But don't worry, Carlos. Remember, you can check out the video, the recording tomorrow. No se preocupe que recuerde. Si usted puede revisar el video también mañana. Ok. I'll be back soon, guys. Sí, correcto. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. You finished? Teacher. Yes. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Eh, bueno, es, bueno, lo voy a hacer porque me cuesta mucho. Eh, cuando nosotros hablamos de, de Easter, yes. I, I, my answer was um, between, but la, la respuesta correcta eh, es Easter is on between o... Oh, just on one, the... just one, solo una. Uh -huh. You could say between uh -huh. or you say it's in January, in March or April. But you uh -huh. don't say both. No dice ambas. Ah, ok. You say one. Ah, ok. O sea que tengo que decir nada más between March, for, for example. March. March or April. Or April. Ok. Uh, okay. Que teníamos la duda porque generalmente no, no siempre cae en el mismo yeah. mes. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh -huh, ok, uh -huh. guys. You finish? Eh, solo, yes. pero eh, te podemos decir is on, siempre lo tenemos que agregar. Is yes, on. please, please, please. Pero please. en este caso is on between March. No, 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 o... no, no. Remember, it's... Uh -huh. Es que la, usted puede usar dos maneras. O la uh -huh. una o la otra, pero no ambas. You can say, uh -huh. it's on March or uh -huh. April, or it's between March uh, okay. and April. Uh -huh. okay? okay, 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 okay. Thank you, teacher. In, in practice, because in, in one minute, we go back to the main room. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. It's on March... Morena, can you hear me? Hey, hello guys. Yes, teacher. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay. okay, let's see. We are just waiting for some people coming back. And in 15 seconds, but Let's start. Let's see Carlos Cruz. Who did you work with, Mr. Carlos? ¿Con quién trabajó? With Nancy and Angelica Morales. Okay, tell me about uh, Nancy. Where's Nancy? Nancy Raquel Lopez. Tell me about Nancy. Do you remember when is her birthday? Um, I uh, Nancy, Nancy. Uh, da, da, da. Carlos, Carlos has to tell me about you, Nancy. Do you it's on September 7th. Excellent, Carlos. So, Nancy's birthday is on September 7th. Perfect. Thank you very much, Carlos. Nancy. Hi. Do you remember when is Carlos' birthday? No. And llegué tarde, me integré tarde. Okay, no problem, Nancy. You can ask him right now. 
Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Nancy will ask him right now and right here. Pregunta. Okay. When is your birthday, Carlos? <laughs> My birthday is on July 3rd. Okay. Thank you very much. Adonai Portillo. Hello, mister. Hello. Who did you work with? ¿Con quién trabajó? Uh, with uh, Luis. Okay, tell me about Luis. Uh, the birthday Luis is on March uh, 31st. Okay, March 31st. Excellent. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see Lorena Rivas. Hello, Lorena. Hello. Who did you work with? Pat. Who did you work with? Con quien trabajo? Oh, Silvia Robles. Okay, tell me about Silvia. When is her birthday? She's birthday on my main um, 18. 18. Okay, 18. remember. Remember, it was perfect. Just a little detail. Estuvo perfecto. Solo un pequeño detalle. We don't say she birthday. We say her. Her birthday. Her birthday. Yes. Remember, guys, her, eh, en el chat le voy escribiendo algunas, normalmente ahí escribo a veces vocabulario que va saliendo, o algunas preguntas que hago. Her, remember, her means su, de ella. ¿Ok? When you are talking about a boy, you say his. His means su, de él. Thank you very much, miss. Let's see, Vicky, hello, Vicky. Hello, teacher. Who do you work with, Vicky? With Roxana Cornejo. Okay, tell me about Roxana, please. And her birthday, I think You October. think? <laughs> yes, I don't remember. Okay, it's in October. Let's see, Roxana, is that right? No. <laughs> no. Okay, <laughs> please tell her when is your birthday. My birthday is yes. on July 13th. Excellent, excellent. Uh, Douglas. Hello, Douglas. Can you activate your microphone? Oh, it's... Hi, teacher. Tell me, Douglas, when is Easter? Uh, Easter is on uh, March. Easter is on March. Mm. March. On, on March uh, or or April. April. Yeah, that's right. On March or on April because it can vary. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, Francisco Diaz. Hello, Francisco. Can you hear me? Well, perhaps he's having trouble. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Who wants to participate? Claudia Elizabeth. Hi. Hi, Claudia. Tell me, uh, when is Mother's Day? My mom, my... Oh, your mother's birthday? birthday? Yes, tell me your mom's birthday. Perfect. My mother's birthday is on February 3rd. Okay, excellent. Now I got a different one for you guys because I am bad at date. Yo soy malísimo con las fechas. Do you remember when is Labor's Day? Does anybody know when is Labor's Day? Can you see it on the chat? Pueden verlo en el chat? Labor's Day? Yes. Oh, May 1st. First. May 1st. Okay, May 1st. Thank you very much. That's Labor's Day, Día del Trabajo. Okay. Let's see, let's see. And who hasn't talked to me yet? Janari Cortez. Tell me, teacher. Okay, tell me, who do you work with? ¿Con quién trabajo? Eh, where I work with... Uh... Douglas. 
Okay, tell me about Douglas. Tell me, when is her birthday? When is his birthday? I'm sorry. His, his birthday is on February 20th. February 20th. Perfect. Okay, guys. Remember, uh, because the time is almost gone. Recuérdense que les ha dicho porque el tiempo casi se nos termina. Time flies. En estas clases el tiempo se nos va volando. Hey, imagine it's, it's been an hour. Exactamente hace 58 minutos me conecté yo. So, time flies. Now, uh, this week, just this week, solamente esta semana vamos a tener clase el día viernes. Su horario es de lunes a jueves, pero como esta semana iniciamos martes, vamos a tener de martes a viernes. So, please bear with me. Recuérdense, solo esta semana, aguántenme un poquito. Eh, muy importante, y que estemos en estas, eh, que estemos siempre en esta clase, es importante para ustedes porque cualquier duda que tengan, acá se puede resolver. Y siempre vemos un poquito más del vocabulario que ustedes encuentran en la en la aplicación, porque algunos puede ser que puedan ir avanzando en la aplicación rapidito y dicen, bueno, entonces no me conecto, pero siempre tenemos esta interacción, la conversación. Yo los invito, siempre que podamos, estemos acá en la clase, ¿ok? Siempre vamos a tener algo de qué platicar, and as you can see, it goes fast. Y como pueden ver, esto se va volando. Let me see what else. Uh, well, tell me, how did you like the class? ¿Cómo estuvo la clase? Any question? Good teacher. It's very good teacher. Very okay. nice. Excellent, Excellent teacher. Very good. Very good. Very good. Remember, remember, whenever there's something or any doubt, please don't hesitate. Cuando hay alguna duda o algo que no quedó muy claro, por favor, vean ahí en el chat, les pongo una expresión bonita. Don't hesitate. No dude. You can stop me. It's your class, not my class. It's su clase, no la mía, ¿ok? okay thank you. Cualquier cosa que no queda claro, I'm here to help you out, ¿ok? Remember, uh, the idea is for you to learn. Y poco a poco vamos a ir cambiando la metódica del hecho de que esta clase he hablado mucho yo. In this program, the idea is that you speak, not just me. En este programa la idea es que ustedes hablen, no solamente yo. So we are going to be doing these exercises, speaking, speaking, throwing questions and answering. Vamos a ir haciendo este ejercicio de hacernos preguntas, contestarlas, ¿ok? En la medida de lo posible los invito, quienes puedan activarme la cámara, eh, lo hacemos en las próximas clases. Insafor nos, siempre nos revisa y ellos no solamente quieren ver el nombre, a ellos les interesa ver que la persona está. En algunas empresas, la empresa pide el video de la clase, ¿ok? So... Uh, please, I'll see you tomorrow, again at 8 p.m. Remember, I am connected before 8. Siempre estoy conectado antes de las 8. Okay? Because I will, I am having another class in a few minutes. Tengo otra clase en unos tres minutos. Sometimes I will disconnect perhaps one minute, but I'm always early so we can have conversation. We can ask, talk about the day. Podemos hablar cosas del día. Podemos aclarar alguna duda. So, I am always before the class and I'm here for you guys. Thank you very much to all of you. Les agradezco mucho. I hope to see you tomorrow. Espero verlos el día de mañana. It's been a pleasure for me. Ha sido un placer para mí. And remember, any doubt, you can also text me. Cualquier duda, también pueden escribirme. I am there for you, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, good good teacher. Good, good night. night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Take care, everybody. Okay, and I'm going to finish the session for everybody. All right.